So myself, Asit Ranjan Sahu. I belong to the district Nagar, and I have done my 12th from Devi Public School United, Bhuneswar. Then I have done my uh, graduation and post graduation from College of Agriculture in Agriculture and Agriculture of Biotechnology. Okay, so why do you want to join civil service? Sir, civil service is one of my childhood dream, and it provides a wide angle or wide diversity to work with and it also emphasizes on the solving of problems of ground, ground, zero, ground zero and also it works on the uh, grassroots level of uh, problems and again as I am a graduate of agriculture it I have the knowledge of being with the farmers in the ground zero and I have gone through I have personally gone through their problems so that will definitely help me to solve their problems and do something for the society. Okay. So, you are from uh, agriculture and forestry background, right? Yes, sir. What is zero budgeting farming? Sir, zero budgeting farming is a new emerging concept where uh, it, the emphasis is given on uh, reducing the input cost and uh, it will definitely help in the production and productivity and it will make farmers income double, double. Zero budget means uh, we are spending anything or with without any spend we can doing the farming? Sir, we are not spending more on uh, inputs or something. We are going for uh, organic farming and integrated systems where the byproducts of one farming is used and it, uh, it so any fertilizer we are using in zero budgeting uh, farming or not? Sir, I am not sure about this. Okay. So, uh, where did we do, do bamboo irrigation? In which uh, part of the country or which uh, state we are doing bamboo irrigation? Have you heard about bamboo irrigation? Suppose in the in one mountain area yes, and from there you need to uh, do the irrigation of field, how you will bring the water from that mountain area to do? Yes sir. Sir, it is a traditional method of irrigation generally yes. um, practiced by tribals and uh, a smaller pocket of uh, India where they use bamboo sticks and uh, bamboo sticks provide the channel and it uh, efficiently transports the water from uh, Higher, post, higher position to lower position. Okay. Which part of the country it is? Sir, I am not sure about it, but I can, if I can guess, it is in northeast uh, states. Yes. So, um, in recently, there is, there is some changes in the Forest Management Act. What is that changes? 1927, the Forest Management Act came. Yes, sir. So, there is some modification done in that. What is that modification? Sir, recently Forest Management Act is uh, more em emphasizing on uh, social forestry and uh, joint forest management where uh, they are trying to include the people in the management uh, activities and they are trying to make it inclusive growth and uh, towards the, they are developing it towards the sustainable growth. Bamboo is a tree or grass? Sir, bamboo is a grass. So now whether in this forest management act, previously yes, it was a tree, Yes, sir. now according to this forest management act, yes, sir. whether it is a tree or they have removed sir. as a sod. Yes, sir. sir, they have removed as a tree and they have made it as a shrub. Okay. Why they have removed this one? Sir, bamboo is, is a livelihood for many. So if it's on, it comes under as a tree. So there are many legislations which, provi which uh, prohibits them to cut it or to make it a livelihood, uh, means they are it, to make it a means of livelihood, they face problem. Okay. So they have make it as a shrub, so they can properly manage and they can cut it and sell it and get it. For getting evergreen forest, what, what amount of rainfall should be there? Sir, for getting evergreen forest, its minimum is 1200 centimeters, 1200 millimeters of rainfall is needed. 1200? 
1200 or or some range is there okay more than more than 1200 more than 200 less 200. than 200 uh, it is 200 more than 150 to 200 100 to 150 50 to 100 So, in which area you will get evergreen forest? Tell me some of the pockets in India, in India where you can get evergreen forest. Yes, sir. Sir, we are getting evergreen forests in western states and in northeastern states. Tell me one place in India where you get mangrove forest, evergreen forest, deciduous forest. So, mangrove forest, deciduous forest, evergreen forest. Sir, it's in uh, Andaman. then andaman also coming under the evergreen forest na no? yes sir okay so which is the wettest place in india sir it's masinaram masinaram the reason do you know the reason game highest rainfall yes sir sir masinaram's geographical location helps it to get more rainfall it is called it's like a three way of mountains covering that place so whichever sir one is garo hills and khasi hills and i yeah, don't remember yeah. join yeah, sir yes sir yes sir fun and like sir so due to orographic rainfall so the it, the place gets more rainfall okay now uh, india uh, the india if you see uh, in the monsoon what type of monsoon India actually getting. Sir, it's a seasonal monsoon. Seasonal monsoon. No, yes, that name. Particular name. Northwest. Sorry, southeast monsoon. Southeast monsoon. South. Southwest. Southwest. Sorry, southwest. sir. Southwest. Okay. And um, like uh, in uh, forests, uh, what is the difference between uh, uh, evergreen forest and deciduous forest? Sir, in evergreen forests, we can get leaves or foliage cover throughout the year. But in deciduous forest, there is a particular time period or particular season where they shed their whole foliage to reduce the moisture loss. That means in evergreen forest, they will never shed the leaf. No, no. Sir, in evergreen forest, they shed their leaves, but it's a gradual process. At simultaneous time, they don't shed whole their foliage. it's a continuous process for them and uh, okay so uh, like um, recently actually uh, there are there is a bill came anti doping law why this anti doping law came what is doping so doping is uh, taking some prohibited substances before going to any physical work or physical event which increases the uh, energy and uh, viability and vigor so that uh, they can perform better but it's an illegal thing okay where is the like the sports uh, like uh, hockey stadium yes sir. which is the largest hockey stadium uh-huh. in india yes sir sir it was proposed to be built on uh, in uh, raurkela what is the name of that stadium sir the name of the stadium is birsa munda hockey stadium birsa munda hockey stadium yes sir okay so recently uh, odisha kokko team won the first title of uh, the kokko event yes. first um, edition of the kokko event what is the name of odisha team sir the name of odisha team was kokko sorry odisha juggernauts who is the captain sir i am unable to recall this okay Uh, tell me one person from Odisha who got Rajiv Gandhi Khel Dal. Sir, he is Pramod Bhagat. Okay. One person who got Padma Bhushan this year. Sir, from sports. Not sports. Overall, you told me. Padma Bhushan. Yes. Sir, I am unable to recall. Okay. Uh, well, tell me uh, the. Past Odia, yes sir. Uh, who mount into Everest? Sir, he is San Santosh Yadav. S- sorry, sir. Um, okay. Recently, one uh, MLA son also 
माउंट इनटू एवरेस्ट माउंट एवरेस्ट स्केल इनटू माउंट एवरेस्ट यू नो फ्रॉम कोर्डा यस सर तो इस दो सान ऑफ हेमस हेमस जस्ट एक सेकंड सूरा राउत रे ओके डू यू नो द नेम ऑफ हिज सन सर ओके सो आई वी हार्ड अबाउट छत्ता जो जना छत्ता छत्ता जो जना there in the rooftop you have to build the storage and yes, you have sir. to store the water rain water and you have to recharge chatto chatto upre amaro sabu tank rakha hai ki pani rakha ho ground water recharge chatto jojana there is another thing uh, umbrella mane okay umbrella se tar mote jojana ache aur sare chatta ko ulta kar de is deo irrigation project coming under which district sir it's under mayurbhanj district Deo project. Okay, tell me uh, recently uh, two important personalities who occupies the constitutional post in India from Mayurbhans. So the first uh, I I will go for uh, Dhaup, Srimati Dhaupadi Murmu, who who is uh, taking the position of President of India, the first lady of India, and then I will go for Girish Chandra Murmu, who is the CAG of India. Okay. Drapadi Manu, who is number of president? Fifteen. Fifteen. Who is tribal group? Sir, she belongs to Santali community. Okay. And uh, Girish Chandra Murmu? Yes, sir. Uh, for CAG? Yes, sir. What is the article? Sir, I am not sure about this, but uh, uh, it's uh, article 248. No, 148. Sorry, 140. Before that, which position you occupy? Before that, he was the uh, governor of J and K, sir, yeah. lieutenant governor of Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, MP from Mayapur. MP from Mayapur. Sir, she is Chandrani Murmu, youngest. youngest MP of India. She is from Mayapur or from Kendujar? Sir, she is from Mayapur. Chandrani Murmu. From Mayapur or Kendujar? I think from Kendujar. You check it. Yes, okay. sir. And uh, yeah, some rapid round I will do. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, UNESCO, only UNESCO heritage site of Odisha. Sir, it's Konark uh, Temple. Only Biosphere Reserve of Odisha. Sir, it's Similpal Biosphere Reserve. Uh, and Olive olive Redley Total. Yes, Where we can find? Sir, Gahir Matha. The first wetland of India in Odisha. It's Chilika Lake. Flyway destination of Asia. I have no idea, sir. Silka. Yes, sir. Okay. Largest winter ground for uh, migratory bird. Sir, it's Silka. Okay. First person who oh, got uh, like Nobel Prize uh, from India. Sir, he is Rabindranath Tagore. Last person who got Nobel Prize from India. So I am not sure about it, but I can guess for Pranam Mukherjee, uh, President of India, uh, I am not sure about it. In economics? Amartya Sen. I am going back after that. Some Banarji. Abhishek Banarji. Abhishek Banarji. Okay. Okay, so... Last question, one international issue I will ask. Uh, two plus two dialogue, we have a hard agreement with uh, uh, how many countries? Sir, we have two plus two dialogue with USA and Russia and also Japan. What about uh, Bangladesh recently? Sir, Bangladesh. Uh, I am not sure about 2 plus 2, but we have done a, done some treaties with Bangladesh recently. Okay. Okay. So, last question uh, from my side. Yes. Uh, like, why you think that you are fit for this civil service examination? Sir, I have, uh, I have the background of agriculture. 
and agriculture is the most important sector of india and also odisha so i have seen the problems and i have dealt with the farmers that will definitely help me being a, being a civil servant to address those problems sir i am more uh, i have more patience and determination to do something and that also will definitely make me uh, do some uh, extra go for a extra step for the people to do something and to help the community and uh, i am more time bound so i will definitely try to implement and do the work within the time that will benefit more to the people so oh, yeah thank you asit okay i think kali apikha tumhe dikha ji better karcho okay so kali i think major question pochra hatla to mu bhabu ji ji tum better mane response karcho okay tumara kebe interview tumara 21st 21st yes अच्छा पाँच छः दिन अच्छे किसी वरीड हुआ ना करवा आम ओके जस्ट आम चेक करूँ आज कौन इम्प्रुवमेंट तुम हो बहुत इम्प्रुवमेंट हो तुम गोटे पजिट पॉइंट है कंटेन्ट वाइज तुम स्ट्रंग अच्छ एक्सप्रेसन वाइज स्ट्रंग अच्छ कहला मत कौटे लगुच कि तुम पार्टी टी लगे भाई मतलब लगुच पार्टी तुम मानते पार्टी टी आगे लगे कि कहला ना पार्टी लगे ना मैंने कि तुम भयसटा गोटे मानते लगला मैंने नर्भस मैं फिल फिला भाई लगुच तुम एक्चुअली फास्ट टाइम से अदरवैज सब ठीक ठाक अच्छे कि ना लुक्स वाइज इज वाइज भल अच्छी टी से जो कॉन्फिडेंस लेवलटा तुमको टी आए करा पड़ो इम्प्रुव करा पड़ो कि डेफिनेटली आउ सब तुम बहुत बढ़िया अच्छे ओके भल हम अल दि बेस्ट डोट वरी आम करवा ओके ठीक अच्छे गेस इंडिया जापान धर्म गार्डियन तो मुझे गोटे कौन थी आगे इ एक्स लगे कि श्रीलंका इंडिया श्रीनेक्स इंडिया अस्ट्रेलिया अशिडेक्स इंडिया जापान है कौन हम जिमेक्स गोटे नाभाल एक्सरसाइज ओके तो सेमती मालावार कहपर ओके तुम देख न्यूज पेपर गुड़ा तक देख जो हूँ से दिन दिदिन का कौन आज सका कौन न्यूज पेपर टाइम देखी जाए आटलिस्ट आड़े